And it's not just the surface temperatures causing concern. The intense heat is warming our oceans, too, particularly off the coast of southern Florida, where a buoy in Manatee Bay recorded a temperature of 101 degrees this week. 101 degrees. We are talking ocean temps, the same as hot tubs. One prominent wildlife conservationist has raised concerns about the potential consequences of these rising temperatures on our marine life, including coral. Here's Jeff Corwin. These critical marine habitats are the rainforests of the ocean. They support thousands and thousands of species and millions and millions of individual animals by providing food, shelter, and life-sustaining resources. But they're also dying at an alarming rate because of climate change, pollution, and unsustainable fishing. If action isn't taken to reverse this terrifying trend, this critical underwater ecosystem will soon disappear forever. That voice, and now the man, conservationist and documentarian Jeff Corwin is joining us now. Thank you so much, Jeff, for taking some time out of your day. I know that this is work that's close to your heart, and uh, it's such an important thing for us to discuss. I mentioned that crazy 101-degree water temp in Manatee Bay. That is shocking to me, given how much time you spend in the ocean. What's your reaction to that, and what do we need to know about what this means? Good morning, Anna. Yes, it's absolutely catastrophic in the waters along Florida and around the world, especially where coral reefs used to thrive, where now they're squandering to the point of near death, has reached this catastrophic boiling. So, as I mentioned in this piece from my TV series, the coral reefs around the world and along Florida are the building blocks of marine life. 80% of all saltwater fish species in Florida have a direct connection to the coral reefs there in their biological cycle, but yet we're about to lose them. On a right before this incredible unprecedented heat event has unfolded presently in Florida, the coral reefs were on the brink. Florida has lost 93% of its coral reefs, and this very much could be the steaming camel on the straw of its back that literally collapses this vital ecosystem. It feels like we're at a tipping point, are we? We are at a tipping point. Again, we may witness the loss of this critically important life-sustaining ecosystem. So think of a coral reef and the mangrove forests that surround the coastlines of Florida and the seagrass beds as the immune system for Florida. And when that immune system is compromised and when it's no longer resilient, it makes Florida vulnerable to environmental diseases like hurricanes. But even more importantly, or equally important, on a, the coral reefs of Florida provides not only uh, an ecological paradise for the wildlife that lives there, but is also a vibrant economic power point for mm -hmm. Florida. Billions of dollars are generated from ecotourism. And when we lose, lose these coral reefs, that resource will be gone forever. I can tell you this, I have been exploring and telling the story of the coral reefs of Florida for my, my entire career. There are reefs that I explored recently in my life that I just revisited a few years ago and they were unrecognizable. That is so tragic. And we're looking at these images where you see the coral reefs turned white. That's obviously a sign of those coral reefs dying because of these hot temperatures. There was just a, a new study, Jeff, suggesting that a vital ocean current system, the ocean current system, which is also really important, right, into how things work, that it could collapse sooner than expected. What do you think that means for the stability of our climate and oceans? Again, we're seeing this not just off the coast of Florida, which is kind of like ground zero for climate change in North America, but we're seeing right here in New England where I live, the Gulf of Maine, on it, it's the fastest warming body of water on our planet. Our cod are no longer spawning because the waters are too warm. They're clean, they're vibrant, but the, the, the climate change train, it's on the tracks and it's rolling full steam ahead. So this is disastrous. We rely on what we call these upwelling zones to infuse nutrients into the environment. Coral reefs, as we're seeing right here, when you know, Anna, if you've ever snorkeled in a beautiful tropical ocean, you notice it's very, very clear. It's clear because tropical oceans are very much void of life. 
but these coral reef ecosystems are like an oasis in a desert. But these oases are quickly disappearing. So I'm really calling on everybody to look at this as an absolute immediate catastrophe. We need to look at this, Anna, like we did at the Deepwater Horizon. I covered that for NBC News. I was there when we responded to that. It was full steam ahead with the Department of the Interior. We need to focus on our coral reefs off of Florida like that. The state of Florida needs to look at this as the most urgent emergency ever if we're going to make a difference. We can't lose these coral reefs. They're such a big part of our natural heritage. Anna, coral reefs only exist off the coast of North America. That's our, uh, um, off the coast of Florida. That's our only North American representation. And if we lose these coral reefs, the entire ecosystem will collapse. It's Just almost too late, but we're not there yet. Just quickly, if you will, Jeff, once these coral reefs die, can they come back? Can you regenerate the coral in those areas that are suffering so much right now? Well, incredibly, the Coral Reef Restoration Foundation, Moat Marine Laboratories, other folks are focused on this restoration process. But it's almost like Band-Aids and a sucking chest wound. Yes, we can. We have the technology to treat them in labs and hopefully put more resilient species that can handle climate change better in the environment. But still, it's an onion skin layer of the yeah. bigger problem. And just an example of the bigger impact, the Miccosukee Indian tribe, which focuses on the restoration, their mission is to save the Everglades of Florida. They can't save the Everglades of Florida unless the reefs of Florida are saved because it's all interconnected. It's all connected, no doubt about it. Jeff Corwin, uh, fascinating conversation. Thanks for opening our eyes. Really appreciate you taking the time.